you know, hello, this is the reading from the book God Consciousness, Chapter 10. This is actually Part 7. The one just before this that I said was Part 7 is actually Part 6. Put it this way. You are here in your current identifying ego structure of awareness for such a brief flit of time that has already passed away and is and are at the same time has not even happened yet. Such a little tiny bit of a flit of time. It is very difficult to get your head around the impermanence of your temporal life as and in your current ego structure. Yet you go on and on from one state to the next, transmuting from spirit and body, lost in its own ego structure, and then on to being out of the body, not in a body, in spirit, and no longer tied to the physical and abiding in the not physical. So sometimes you are in the one, and sometimes you are in the other. And yet all the time and all the no time you are in both and are both. And I know how annoying this is to hear and or read. And while you are in the other, you can become something other than what you think of as yourself. Your ego structure as so-and-so born of such and such parents. And that your name is this or that. And you have so many children or not. And that you do this sort of work or used to do that sort of work. You can become a spirit being and live as separated from the human context as you are now separated from the spirit context. Just as an amoeba may not know, it is inside a human body. Some spirit beings have a very large sense of awareness of the meanness. Some do not. Some will have more awareness of me grow and grow while some will even lose some of the awareness they have of my meanness. Put it this way, I want to know myself in as many different ways as I can, and so there are many, many, many kinds of creatures and spirits and entities and beings, and then all the stuff that makes them up, all the structures and systems and so on, all the bits of material creation. As you may or may not know, Material creation and consciousness intersect. There is a meeting point where one influences the other, and it is the ocean of consciousness that exists first, and then the material, physical creation, that springs into being from that ocean of consciousness. And this physical, material creation is creating itself out of consciousness over and over again and again, seamlessly, without a break, without pause or slip-up. 